Feast Fine Foods continue to offer exclusive ranges of exceptional quality produce. And with Christmas just upon us, you'd have to be a turkey not to drop in. Richard, there's more than one type of turkey, right? Yeah, no, there's a range of different things that are available and there's only a few left grown in South Australia and we're lucky enough to actually get supplies from all three. We have um, Saskia Beers corn-fed um, Barossa farm produce um, turkeys, which are something really amazing, a, a truly prestige, unique product. We also have um, Poojinagoric turkeys, which are grown down near Border Town, an interestingly enough named town of Poojinagoric. Okay, which, so it's um, not what they're fed. No, no, no absolutely got, not. Got you. And last of all, we have uh, the product which we sell the most of, which is uh, Almond Grove, which is grown by John Holland at Murray Bridge, and he's the largest supplier of uh, fresh, free-range turkeys um, available for Christmas in the whole of the state. Almond Grove is an organically certified property with NASA. We put the day-olds into a hay bale shed when they first come in and they then have access to the rest of the property. We plant a lot of uh, our own wheat and lupins and uh, lucerne and the birds are able to free-range on that throughout their growing period. We don't have any artificial lighting at any stage through their growth program and uh, they have access to the outside all of the time. As you can see, being free to roam around certainly keeps these turkeys happy. And if you're a turkey at Almond Grove, forget that story about plain old table scraps. All of the feed we grow on the property is organic. Uh, our wheat uh, is, is organic. And the feed that we use is locally sourced. Um, it is predominantly wheat, peas, lupins, soya bean. Um, and it is, we roll a mill all of the feed on farm and mix all of the feed on farm. Almond Grove have come up with an ingenious way of keeping the turkey safe at night. They utilise a special breed of dog. The Maremmas uh, are a, an Italian breed, they are a companion dog. The dogs live with the turkeys at night, we take them in, feed them in there and they actually sleep with the turkeys. They are a companion dog and they uh, do keep all foxes off the property. If you want to spread your wings a little further than turkeys, then Feast have other game birds on offer. Well we know about turkey as an option for Christmas lunch, but what about some of these other birds? Yeah, we're actually finding it's more and more popular these days to try some of the other game birds um, from the individual, maybe a quail or two per person or uh, having a whole poussin. Um, the Christmas goose is just rocketing. We, we sold so many geese last year. I think um, every single goose that was around in South Australia ended up on a Christmas table last year nearly. Um, we have a great range of free range ducks and we'll have small supplies of uh, guinea fowl and pheasant. Um, you have to be pretty early and order those ones because they're quite difficult to get at this time of year. It's always hard to imagine Christmas without the traditional leg of ham. Well, Feast offer a range of free-range pork and gammon ham, which is something a little bit special. Gammon ham I can do a lot with, can't I? Yeah, gammon's um, a ham that you're doing the cooking, so you can put your own personal stamp on it. And I think with a lot of the rise of the cooking shows these days, people want to do more themselves. You can cook in a Weber and you end up with a double smoked ham. You can cook it in the oven and you end up with a regular ham, or you can even boil it and you end up with a traditional English boiled ham. So you've got a range of options with your gammon ham. A lot of ham sold around Christmas is imported, but there is a way to be sure it's Australian. There's a little pink sticker on all Australian hams and that's what you want to look out for. It says Australian pork and that's your sign that you're definitely getting an Australian grown ham.